Yani kozi daha vakti. İrfan'da sonuçlarında. What do you think about the event today? It was amazing. Um, everything went well. We had marvellous weather, which we haven't had recently, so uh, the sun shone on everybody. Fantastic turnout. Um, the organisation all went very smoothly. Uh, both young and old raised loads and loads of money. So we, we've seen prizes awarded to those who, who raised the most. And uh, uh, what can I say other than jolly well done? You've seen the children that they help. Uh, and in the current uh, sort of national climate uh, where the economy is tight, every single penny counts. The only restriction I can see that you will have is ourselves, that we haven't gone out and asked. As long as you've gone out and asked, I can pretty much hand on heart assure you people will give. Friends, neighbours, family. I'm going to hand over to Kirsty, who's going to give us the health and safety update and then over to our councillors for the start. So all the very best if you just want to join me in a quick silent prayer. Andy over to Kirsty, please listen very, very carefully. Out the entire 5K route and the all drivers <coughs> vests on that say York Hill Children's Foundation. So there's at least 10 marshals throughout the 5K. Three, two, one, one, two. <laughs> Okay, it was a fantastic event. Uh, so many local members of the mosque attended. Uh, some local community members attended as well. A fantastic event to raise a lot of money for a very good charity, uh, the York Hill uh, Children's Foundation. And I hope that, of course, after today's event, the money will still continue to come in. Yeah. And with the hospital in your ward area, um, is there a lot of other events that go on throughout the year? Yes, there are of course other uh, events. I've obviously um, noticed that, of course, the mosque here itself does various other uh, charity events such yeah. as uh, Macmillan's uh, and it obviously makes sure that the rest of the community is involved yeah. with that. I'm aware that, of course, that the mosque and its members have uh, taken part in a, in a blood uh, drive obviously to, to make sure that blood donations are made. Uh, they have taken in the local park, Elven Grove Park, where today's event took place. They have obviously done some tree planting. Uh, there are other local community groups that obviously are taking part, but I have to say that this, this mosque and its members are probably one of the most active in the local area, so congratulations to all of them. Assalamu alaikum, uh, respected chair, our respected councillors, um, our manager from York Hill Hospital, fellow respected brethren here, and then the ladies who are also behind uh, in the nurse room. I would want to just give a quick, brief summary of uh, the whole event. Um, as you know, I think about three months ago, myself and Kirsten had a meeting and then we decided to just put this together and then ensure that it comes to uh, reality. And then um, it's an amazing day that uh, after a lot of hard work that the committee members have put in, eventually we had this day been coming to a fruition. Um, a lot of work has been going in behind the scene. Uh, most of us just turned up today to do the running. So I want to thank those people who have been working 
day and night to ensure that the event ran successfully. A lot of people have also put in a lot of effort trying to raise a lot of funds, and I think they also need our commendation as well. So thank you very much, and Allah reward each and every one of you. The figure that I've got here is something just around a 5,000 figure. Um, and then there's, there's more that is coming in because I think uh, we've got the elders group who has also managed to get a thousand pound in addition. So somewhere around 5,500 is what we are looking at somewhere today. Um, so hopefully the target is 7,000 and we hope that after today's event, uh, a lot of people will put in all the effort so that we'll be able to reach that uh, 7,000 target. A big thank you to everybody who's still with us in the room today and all those, also those who've, who've had to go home. The youth wing here is really active um, in the community generally. I know that you've done cleanups and all sorts of things. So it's, it's a real uh, example to um, youth groups anywhere uh, what you guys do here. And I know a lot of you don't even live particularly nearby, so it's particularly commended. Honoured guests, Benno and Mayo. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you first of all for inviting myself and Bailey Baker to this fantastic event and, and also for inviting us here to your mosque. Um, for me personally, this is the first time I've uh, had the pleasure of attending the mosque. Um, and it's, it's a, a fabulous building, it's a fabulous building from the outside. It's even more fabulous in the inside, and it's fabulous because of, of the people here today who make it a, a great place. It's, uh, it's, it's a, a community. Um, I was speaking with uh, some members of the community earlier on, uh, and I was obviously handed the, uh, the uh, beginner's guide to the Amadia community. And I was given one of these uh, leaflets which mentions the, the main core elements of, of your faith. Uh, loyalty, freedom, equality, respect and peace. And I think all of those sentiments you have brought in abundance today uh, by not only being here today but also taking part for a, an absolutely fantastic charity and a worthwhile event. And the last big thank you is, of course, to you, all of you who've taken part today and who have supported this fantastic event. So thank you. So if we've got, have, have I got everyone here present here? If I can re request uh, our respected uh, Vice President to do the presentation for us. I just want to quickly run through some of the people who had kind of encouraged some of us when we're doing the work because we set up a, a website to basically get the program running and then some, some people basically saw the website and then they decided to apply through that means and you could know how encouraging it is to see someone showing that much appreciation. And for that I would want to mention uh, Rebecca Montgomery who did a lot of effort in that respect, and then also Juliet Neal as well. And we have uh, Wanda who came in at a very surprising last minute. Oh, can I also enter please for the race? Uh, we want to acknowledge all your effort. I mean, it encourages some of us and it helps us to do the work properly as well. So thank you very much for that. The girl who raised the most money among them at, the, at present had 42 pounds, and that is Shafia Sadakat Ahmed. Thank you. And then for the ladies group from 11 to 15 years, we have Mahida Yusuf who raised 106 pounds. And uh, for the ladies biggest group uh, from the ages of 16 onwards, we have uh, Sabiha Shams, who raised about 150 pounds. Uh, I think um, the husband wants to claim the fame, so we decided to call the husband to come in. The wife did the job, and the husband is enjoying the fame here. So, yeah. 
And then we go down to the, to the men group now. We've got the boys uh, from the ages of 7 to 10 years, and we've got Harun Satar, who raised 145 pounds. I think his dad is here. Um, so if you can help us, yeah. And for two years in a row, we have this young man who is very much enthusiastic about raising funds for charity. Uh, this year, he decided to top it again, and he raised 188 pounds, and he's the person of Adil Runner. In the men's side, it was very competitive. Myself, I was in the race to the very last minute. I don't know what happened today. Some people beat me, surprisingly. Um, and I think we want to investigate how we managed to get that figure. But so far, the winner is Mahmoud Udin, who managed to raise 440 pounds. And I think there is a secret um, prize as well, which is which is uh, for the winner, just for you to know. You've won yourself uh, a meal for two at the Cafe India. And then the ladies, Khali Shams, I think this is an opportunity, a meal for two as well, for yourself and I think your wife who did the hard job. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, so I think I'll just call him to this. I would just like to say a few things. I mean, member of the Jamaat knows me and uh, uh, Majda Sansarullah, but for the sake of the guest, I would like to uh, introduce and let them know that Majda Sansarullah is a subdivision of our Jamaat, a group of over 40s. And uh, we actively doing the charity work and the calculation for the last uh, 25 years years and this year was the 26th charity walk last month and in that walk 1800 workers participated and raised 114,000 pounds and we distributed and denoted to around about 16 charities in the country and we asked for our Scottish charity and the president gladly sent us a check of a thousand pounds, which um, I have a pleasure to present to you. And I'm very much grateful of that. Uh, on behalf of local trust, Mr. Chair. Um, good afternoon, noon, everybody. First and foremost, I really just want to say a big, big thank you to everybody who's been involved today and everybody who's taken part. Um, each year, over 157,000 kids will come through the doors of York Hill Children's Hospital. Now, some will just be with us for a couple of hours, others will be with us for weeks, and sometimes for some of our long-stay patients, they'll be with us for months at a time. Regardless of how long that child spends in York Hill, they all benefit from the extra services. And it's extra services which we couldn't fund if it wasn't for people like yourselves that take part in events and that help to support the hospital. Since York Hill Children's Hospital opened its doors, it's touched millions and millions of lives, and it exists purely to help sick kids get better, yet it does so, so much more than that. And you only really need to spend a couple of hours in York Hill Children's Hospital to realise how special a place it is, and it's a place that I think Scotland should be incredibly proud to have. York Hill Children's Hospital is now the sole Scottish provider of a lot of terms of care, things like cardiac surgery, kidney and bone marrow transplants, paediatric intensive care. There's nowhere else in Scotland that children can be treated for these conditions other than York Hill Children's Hospital. And that's why it is such a special place. The money that you've raised over the past few months will go towards a whole host of different services from new and innovative medical equipment to the cinema facility that we've got in the hospital to entertainment services to support services for families. There is no corner or ward or department at York Hill that won't benefit from your generous funding. So I really just want to finish today by saying on behalf of all the kids that are with us at the moment and behalf of all the kids that will continue to come through the doors of York Hill week after week, month after month, year after year, 
a big, big thank you from each and every one of them. We've been absolutely delighted to have been involved with the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association. The amount of work that's gone into today's event has been absolutely massive. And it really is from the bottom of our hearts that we say a big thank you to each and every one of you. Regardless of how much you raise, pennies makes pounds, and it's pounds that makes thousands for us. And it's those thousands of pounds that allow us to do what we strive to do every day, and that is to help sick kids get better. So a big, big thank you to every single one of you. I hope you enjoyed today, and thank you on behalf of all the children. So thank you all very much. Ladies and gentlemen, guests, uh, brothers Khdam, Ansar, sisters Lajna, Asalaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu, may the peace and blessings of God Almighty be on you all. Uh, <clears throat> I stand before you representing Fahim Anwar Sahib, who is the national president of the Amdiya Youth Association. Uh, unfortunately, he was unable to be <coughs> with you all today for this, uh, your, your first sort of charity challenge, formal charity challenge. I mentioned a little something. I met one young man uh, very enthusiastically had been raising lots of money and he'd come with his little bag and had all his coins and his notes in there and, and very keen to do the run. Uh, he asked, and he said, I hope you don't mind me asking and I hope I'm not speaking out of tone. Um, I don't actually, uh, I must add, he's new to the United Kingdom. Uh, I don't actually understand, I've been, I know we're raising for a charitable cause, but I think somebody forgot to mention to me what I was raising for, and I can't understand the link between the run and the charity. The reason I mention that is, particularly the, the youngsters as they come up, uh, it's important that you don't take for granted what you actually do, and they are explaining what they're actually raising their money for. I know uh, I was here a good few months ago when Yorkil was here giving an excellent presentation about the hospital, what it does. And I know you've visited uh, as well a number of times. I just really want to stress, with all your work, whether it's the York Hill Trust this time, the work that you do with Save the Children, with Great Ormond Street, with Macmillan Cancer, sorry. It's important that, at least from an organizational point of view, you keep, keep uh, ramming that message home. Because, uh, as I was speaking to our guests earlier today, as we grow older, you reach that teenage years, your, your mid-teens, 14, 15, although we're fortunate, we're very fortunate in Khudam Limbia that, that uh, that's not the peak. That's almost when, when the push uh, really accelerates even further. But it's a time of your life when you're on to university, further studies, and you can forget some of the other work that we do. Uh, so I can't stress enough that you push and push and push. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today I ran the 5K for Jorkil Hospital Charity, and um, I think the weather was brilliant, so I enjoyed myself and uh, finished in good time. So it was a successful event. I found the event today a really good one. It was well organised and it was a good course to run. It's been an outstanding day overall and to raise money for York Hill Children's Hospital is like fantastic because it's a really good hospital which I've been to a few times myself and it's loads of activities for the children and it's really calming and it's good to be around and everyone here has been amazing today. Thanks for organising it. Yeah, I was one of the marshals for today's event uh, which involved going around the park uh, during the week just to check the, the route was safe and to make sure that uh, people were going around the right paths with to decide where we were going to put arrows and, and different markers for people to see and we all to also had to decide where the marshals were going to be positioned. Uh, the main aim was to make sure that people went around the route safely um, and to make sure that there was no risk of people going off track. Um, this morning we were around to put the signs up uh, myself and Kirsten went round very early on, about 7 o'clock this morning, uh, put the signs up, decided again exactly where the marshals were going to be positioned. Uh, after we'd put the signs out, we came back, some more volunteers had arrived. We then took them round, uh, positioned them in their different places um, around the park. 
<coughs> and then I, I was the marshal at the back to make sure that nobody uh, got lost or, or, or taken off track, uh, just to make sure that everybody got around safely and arrived back at the start. I think it was a very successful event. I think everybody that was involved enjoyed it, and uh, I certainly enjoyed helping out and making sure everybody got around in a safe, safe manner. The 5K has been brilliant and I know a lot of hard work and time and effort and commitment has gone into making the 5K run a success. So I really want to say a big thank you to everybody who's been involved with the organisation. Thank you to everybody who's raised pennies and pounds for the hospital. This is your local children's hospital. Um, it's one of Scotland's main children's hospital and we are eternally grateful for every penny that's been raised from your members today. So thank you very much.